welcome back guys to a quick video guide on the new unlockable weapons and they shall not pass I'm Razor Strike and hopefully I'll be able to give you some tips on how to unlock them most of the weapons are pretty easy to unlock but some can be difficult we're also gonna discuss if they're worth unlocking what I like about some of them and what I don't like so we'll start with the assault class first now to unlock the Ruby Rolls, you're going to need to get 50 kills with the Automatico Factory and then 20 headshot kills with the MP18 Optical. Now getting the kills with the Automatico is not the problem here. It's actually getting the 20 headshots with the MP18 Optical. It can be very difficult. What I like to do to get the 50 kills with the Automatico is to go in a place with a lot of people clustered in there and clumped up, kind of like Fort DeVoe. Now you can use Fort DeVoe to get your headshots with the MP18 or I would suggest also Rupture or Soissons to be able to get people from far away and zoom in with your reticle. What helped me to get the 20 headshots with the optical was to get a crosshair or ring sight on it and then lower the zoom down as much as I can so there's not so much recoil and jump whenever you're aiming down sight and shooting people from far away. That's how I got most of my headshots, so hopefully that should help you. It's still going to be a pain in the ass no matter what. Now to unlock the Swargan Inertial Factory, you're going to need to perform 50 kills with the Model 10 A Slug. And then in a round, get 15 kills with the M97 Trench Gun Hunter. I would perform the 50 kills with the Slug version of the Model 10 A first, because sometimes it can be a little buggy if you get the 15 kills with the other shotgun and then it resets whenever you go to another round. With the slug version you can kill targets from far away. It can be a little awkward at first using the slug version of the Model 10 A but what I found to help is to aim down sight and shoot immediately whenever you acquire targets and I usually end up getting killed. It helps with dealing with that weird recoil. I found a lot of places with high ground that you can use the Model 10 A slug to take people out. The outside parts of Fort DeVoe, Verdun Heights, Amiens, St. Quentin Scar all work perfectly to get those kills. The Ruby Rose is great for encountering people from mid to long range, especially if you go prone and use the bipod. It has incredible accuracy and it has next to no recoil whenever you're laying down. Pretty good for up close engagements also, but it's not going to beat the Automatico in damage and fire rate. The Swargan has a very low recoil compared to all the other shotguns. I like it a lot. Um, you're just going to have to play around with it, that and the Model 10 and the Trench Hunter to see which one you're really going to like, but I really am leaning towards this one now. Now for the Medic class, you're going to have the RSC 1917 factory or optical version for the factory version you're going to need to perform 50 kills with the m1907 sl sweeper and perform 50 revives for the optical version you're going to need to kill 15 people with the auto loading 8.35 factory in one round and then perform 75 heals let me just save you the trouble of not going through all this and getting this gun because it is a lot to do to get this gun that is just mediocre i only unlocked the factory version but when i started using it i did not like it at all from the very beginning because i'm used to using the mondragon storm or sniper version now the rsc might have more damage than the mondragon but how the mondragon excels is that it fires faster it has a bigger magazine has a higher muscle velocity there's so many other weapons in the medic kit that you can choose over this weapon. You got the sweeper, you got the auto loading 8, it's just going to do more to help your team. You're not looking to be top of the leaderboard in kills, but you want to be able to support your teammate and the RSC just falls short. Next up we have the support class, you got the Shao Shot, telescopic and the low weight version for it. Telescopic, you need to kill 15 people with the Benet Mercy Telescopic in one round. Perform 10 mortar kills. For the low weight version, you need 50 kills with the Lewis Gun Suppressive, which is pretty easy. And perform 75 resupplies. Also easy. Just stand around your teammates, throwing out pouches or crates. So with those requirements being pretty simple, is it worth doing? I would say so to try out the low 
the low weight version of the Shao Shot. It has higher damage than the Lewis gun or the MG15. Now the Shao Shot's gonna have a higher damage output than the MG15 and the Lewis gun. Uh, it only has 20 rounds, it reloads faster, it has pretty good hip firing. But I like to have a lot of rounds whenever I'm using the support class, so I like to use the telescopic version or suppressor versions of, let's say, the MG15 and Lewis gun. So it's really going to be up to you and your preference. Now this weapon is great for small maps like Fort DeVoe. You can just go in there and take out people left and right. And last but not least, the Scout class. You have the Lebel Model 1886 Infantry Version and Sniper Version. To unlock the Infantry Version, you need to get 50 kills with the Guer M95 Infantry. Perform 20 spot flares. For the Sniper Version, you need to get 5 shots, 5 headshots with the Russian 1895 Sniper and perform 10 periscope spot assists. Now for that one, that one's also bugged found that out the hard way is that I would perform the 10 periscope spots first so you have that knocked out of the way then try to get your five headshots in a round this one took me a little bit to unlock it was kind of a pain in the ass trying to get five headshots um, when you think you already got it done and then you go to the next round and then it's already reset so we're not gonna talk about that anymore Unless you're just trying to unlock every single weapon in the game, especially the new ones, I would pass on this one. I personally like to use the SMLE uh, marksman version of the rifle. Uh, I don't like any rifles with the sniper version that might have a sniper glint and then when I'm trying to take people out they spot me. So that's why I tend to stick with marksman versions. This one just didn't feel like my type of sniping whenever I'm you know having a battle with another people are trying to take a lot of people out and I'm ducking moving running from spot to spot you know it just it didn't feel right for me everybody has their own preference and in, in guns for each class this one just did not feel right to me the SMLE had a bigger magazine has a higher muzzle velocity faster reload towards the end you know there's a slightly higher fire rate with the LaBelle but the damage is still the same, so I'm gonna stick with the SMLE whenever I'm sniping. Now these are just my personal opinions on how I play and how the weapons feel to me and where they're worth unlocking and using. So everybody has their own preferred weapons that they like and are better with. So I hope I was able to give you a little bit of insight. If you want to get even more details on weapon stats, you can go to simthick.com, is the site that I use to compare the different weapons. It's a great resource to be able to compare all the weapons in Battlefield 1 and all different, a bunch of different FPS shooters too. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Drop a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more content. And I will check you guys on the flip side. Thank you.